the lesson today, we're going to talk about <clears throat> area density. So similar to um, mass density, but um, a little different because it has to do with area versus volume. So density is the mass per unit of volume. Population density is the population per unit or volume. And what we're going to talk about mostly today is population density. Um, so basically it has to do with people or some sort of individual thing, could be animals, over the area. So this is the formula we're going to use today is the population density is the population of whatever it is we're talking about over the actual area. So in example one, it says you can fit 20 people in a 5 by 5 square using this ratio, how many people could fit in a 500 by 500 foot square. So our population density is again equal to our population over our area. So we're going to take our 20 here, our people over our um, actual feet by feet and that we're going to do, we're going to multiply that. So that's going to give us 20 over 25. And then it says here using this ratio, how many people can fit in a 500 by 500 foot square. Um, so here it says using this ratio, um, we're then going to set a ratio equal to, again, we're trying to find people. It said how many people. So that's 500 over 500. So that's 20 over 25 is equal to X over 25, 250,000. If you recall, the way we do work a problem like this is we cross multiply. So we're going to multiply 20 times 250,000 and X times 25. So 25X equals 20 times 250,000. That's 25X equals 5 million. And 25 goes into 5 million 200,000 times. So it says, um, again, how many people can we fit in a five by 500 by 500 foot square? Based on the ratio of 20 to 25, we can fit 200,000. Okay, example two says, for a certain species of animals to survive, the population density must be less than 15 animals per square mile. In a rectangular wildlife preserve measuring 20 miles by 15 miles, scientists counted 3,740 of the animals. Here it says, part A, is there enough area for all the animals to survive? So we're going to have to find, um, it says that we got 15 animals per square mile. So we're going to find the area here using the 20 times the 15 to find the area. And then we're going to divide our animals, again, population of the animals, by that number. So population density is equal to the population divided by the area. So we had 3,740 animals and 20 times 15 is 300. So we're going to divide 3,740 by 300. So that tells us that um, we have 12.5 animals, which would round it be really 13 animals, per mile squared. So um, the answer to the first question, is there enough area for all the animals to survive? The answer is yes. Um, because we can have up to 15 animals per square mile. The next part says, if there's enough area, how many more animals could be moved to the preserve? If there's not enough area, how could you change the 15 mile width of the preserve so that the preserve is large enough? So here, what we want to do is figure out how, what is the maximum number of animals we could fit into this 20 by 15 mile area. So to do that, again, we're going to use our ratio. So, um, we have how many animals, our population, because it's asking us how many animals, um, and we have 300 square miles, and that would be 15 over 1. So again, we cross multiply here. So we're going to multiply x times 1 and 15 times 300. When we do that, we get 4,500. So it says if there's not enough area, well, we have enough area. Um, we already found that out. But now it asks us, um, how many more animals would we need? How many more animals could be moved to the preserve? So right now we have 3,740. So we're going to, I'm oh, sorry, 3,470. So we're going to subtract that number, 3,740, from 4,500. And that gives us 760 more animals could be moved to the area. All right. So. The area of Alabama for our U try is 51,718 square miles and its population is 4.7 million, uh, a little more than that. The area of Missouri is 69,709 square miles and its population is 
5.9, a little more than that, million, okay? It goes on to tell us that the average state population density is 87.4 people per square mile. And it asks us how do the population densities of Alabama and Missouri compare to the national average? Okay, so what we need to do is, first of all, we need to figure out um, what, uh, in this problem it told us that the average was 87.4. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here because we're going to compare to that number. Um, and this is a multiple choice question like you would see on an EOC or on a DDA. So what we're going to do here is we're going to divide our people by our area up there. So that's 51,718. And over here, we're going to divide the 59, 5.9 million and change by 69,709. So go ahead, excuse me, go ahead and do that and come back to me. So you should have done that. Um, we got 92.4 population density for Alabama, and we got 85.9% for the population density of Missouri. And again, we are comparing these both to the average of 87.4. So let's go ahead and read this first, this first answer. The population density of Alabama is less than the average, and the population density of Missouri is greater. Well, neither one of those are true. So we know the A is not true, so put an X through the A. The second one, B. The population densities of both states are less than the average. Well, we know that's not true, too, because the population of density of Alabama was higher than 87.4. So put an X through B. The population dens density of Alabama is greater than the average, and the population density of Missouri is less. That is the answer, C, so circle that. Let's just go ahead and read D just for the sake of experience. The population densities of both states are greater than the average. We also know that's not true because Missouri is less than the national average. So that's a really good example of how you guys should work through a problem to eliminate answers. Okay, so the answer was C again. So the next question is example three. It says a rock band is coming to Georgia for a concert. Rather than having the concert in a building, the band chose to have it in a park. Here's the basic layout of the park. So we have three zones here. So what we need to do um, is, uh, and, and then underneath that it says predictions for each zone. It gives us um, zone one, how many square foot per person, zone two, and zone three. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and find out what the area is of each of these zones. And then we're going to divide that number by our square feet per person, which is this right here. So, um, we're going to go ahead and find the area, which was 18,750, and then we're going to divide that one by 2.5. So that tells us we should be able to have 7,500 people in zone 1. In zone 2, again, we're going to find the area, 95 times 250, that was 23,750. We're going to divide that one by 4.5, that gives us 5,278. And again, we're going to round that number up because it's people and we don't have partial people. Um, and then in zone 3, 75 times 250 and then we're going to divide that by 10 because again that's what it tells us 10 square feet per person so that would be 1875 so to find the total number of people that could attend the concert which is what it says here based on this information find the total number of people predicted to attend the concert we're just going to add those three numbers together when we do that we get 14653 now part b says the county will be hosting that will be hosting the concert recommends that there be a police officer for every 50 attendees. How many officers will be needed based on your prediction? Well, basically all we have to do is take that number, 14,653, and divide it by 50. So we should need 293 police officers. So go ahead and do example four and then come back to me when you're done. So this question asks us, can 1,500 people fit in a room that's 80 by 80 feet with an average of 4.5 square feet per person? So what we're going to do again is find, we're going to use our popularity, population density this time, um, and we're going to find out how many people can fit in a um, 80 by 80 room. So when we do that, um, we've got our 80 by 80, and we can divide that by our population density, because remember, we can um, cross multiply these, okay? Our population density would be 4.5 over, um, and then our area um, would be 80 over 80. So we can then divide 6,400 by 4.5, because again, we've got our area, and we, need, we know that it's 4.5 square feet per person. The area of our room is 6,400, so we can divide that by 4.5. That tells us that um, 
if we have an 80 by 80 room and every person requires 4.5 square feet per person, that the maximum um, number of people we can fit in that room is 1,422. So no, we cannot fit 1,500 people because the room would have to be bigger.